everybody, it's Abby with Creative at Home and uh, we're going to be painting today. Thank you for joining me for this tutorial. Today's painting is the Navy Daisies and uh, if you've purchased a kit, well, you'll have everything that you need in it. If not, I'll be going over supplies here in just a minute. Um, but thank you for joining me and uh, let's go ahead and get started. I'm going to switch over my screen here in a minute so you can see what I'm working on and uh, look forward to painting with you. All right, thanks. All right, we're ready to go and talk about supplies. Uh, for this painting, we're going to have our canvas. Canvas is portrait uh, orientation for this one. We have brushes, paper towel, our water cup, um, we have a large three-quarter inch uh, wash brush that is a flat for your background. Um, you can also use a sponge brush, all different kinds of things there. Uh, you can use this, there's a half inch flat brush as well that we'll be using. Um, we have a six, number six round brush. Uh, so it's um, for some of the detail work on the petals and we have a number eight which is a quarter inch flat brush uh, that we'll be using. Um, for paint colors for today's project we have white paint, blue paint, purple, black, a brown, green, and yellow. Uh, we use acrylic paints. Um, and you can use them to mix all of your colors in a tray or paper towel, um, or I'm sorry, paper plate, those kind of things. So um, we're going to go ahead and get started actually with some paint mixing. Uh, this painting uses quite a few different shades of blues. Uh, so we're going to go ahead and start making those because that'll be the... Uh, majority of the background colors. Um, okay, so the first thing we're going to mix is a navy blue. Uh, and we're going to mix a decent amount of this color. So I'm going to start by pulling some of my blue paint over to uh, a new spot here. And I'm going to, like I said, mix a decent amount of this color. Uh, to make a really nice navy, um, we're going to start with our blue and then we're going to mix about the same amount of purple in with it. And so just kind of getting that together and then we'll start adding in the black uh, paint here. Go ahead and use all that purple since we don't really need it for anything else. Uh, so that just kind of rich it, uh, makes that a richer, deeper blue to begin with. Um, and then we're going to add just a dot of black to start, and we'll see what we get with that. Um, black goes a long way when it comes to paint. You can see how quickly it's turning that um, really pretty purpley blue into really a navy and you, it was about a pea sized amount of black. So um, use your black sparingly when it, when it comes to color mixing. Uh, but there is our navy color. Um, all right, so I'm gonna just kind of shove that back over just a little bit. And then I wanna actually take some of that navy and um, add just a little bit of white to it. So we want like a light navy um, and then we're gonna make a darker, so I'm gonna kind of divide this into three little, section. So we'll have a smaller section that we're going to darken, 
the, the regular navy section and then a section that we're going to lighten up. So I'm just going to add a little bit of white to this um, navy color and lighten that up. So the same thing as far as black and the, the using it sparingly uh, applies to white as well. Black will darken it very quickly. White will lighten it up very quickly. So just want to make sure that you're using uh, your colors sparingly. A uh, little bit goes a long way. And you can always add more. It's hard to um, to take some out. <laughs> so we just want to get those kind of three shades of the darker uh, purpley blue. So we're going to have our lighter shade here. Um, and then we're going to take that navy and add just a little bit of black to it to make a dark navy. So darken that uh, navy up even more uh, so that it is as close to black as it can be and still being blue. Okay, so we're just going to use that for some contrasts in our background here. Okay, so <clears throat> I have those three colors and we'll go ahead and start, bring those up here so you can kind of see the palette. Um, so the navy we made, the light blue and uh, that dark navy. Um, okay, so we're going to start uh, by taking our largest brush here and we're just going to start painting this background. So um, the goal is to kind of have darker contrast here and here and then have a lighter bit here without it looking like, you know, a stripe. So um, I'm going to go ahead and start painting. Um, this just kind of in a square pattern, um, just kind of crossing it and as it spreads out, <clears throat> you get some, some coverage here. Then, um, we can start adding the other colors in. Okay, so you can go ahead and start as you get towards the edges you can go ahead and paint your edges as well um, that allows you to just kind of have the option if you're going to display this one um, to not have to put it in a frame if you don't want to paint your edges don't worry about it um, we're just going to go through and i'm not exactly concerned about getting it not so streaky just yet because we're going to be blending in um, a lot of other colors, these other blues that we made. So right now it's just about coverage and getting it, um, getting it covered with the blue. Okay, and then we'll start adding those other colors right into that painting. Okay. Um, Alright, so we've got that kind of wet dark blue and then I'm going to start by going down the center here and adding in that lighter shade um, down the center and just kind of adding some more depth in there. Okay. And we'll just keep keep moving through this until we get really good coverage. And you can 
start as you get closer to the edges, start adding that darker blue. I'm just kind of making it go across like that. Let's see, maybe if I turn my light out, you'll be able to see the without the glare. I'll turn it back on as we get into some more of the details um, of the painting, but it's hard to see sometimes the colors when you're when I have that light on. Lighting is hard. Um, so you can add some dark in those corners and then just kind of start blending this through if you want to lighten it up. You can. Okay. And just moving it through. Okay. And once you like it, you can add some streaks. So say you wanted to add a little streaky dark in there. Just kind of keep it working until you're happy with it. Okay. And again, it's just the background. You're going to, we're going to be covering this up with lots of different cute little daisies. So it doesn't have to be perfect. You just want to have it, try not to walk, no, not to, not, not to knock over my water cup. Um, just kind of keep having it come together like that. So I think at this point I'm in pretty good shape with my, um, my uh, background. And so I'm going to go ahead and stop. So at this point we want to pause and have our dry break. So you want to stop before you go on to the next step for this. So if you're pausing the video, that's great. Um, and uh, dry, if you're looking for a way to speed it up and keep things moving, a blow dryer works really well. Um, if not, you know, enjoy it, have a snack, and uh, be back in just a bit. All right, we're back from the dry break and we're gonna start tackling these daisies. Um, so we're gonna have a large daisy in this area. It's gonna take up kind of the, the majority of this top right corner and it's gonna be open and um, fully open and we'll see the center and everything. And then we'll have one kind of fanning here that's uh, kind of the medium size and then we'll have two smaller ones around in here. So we're going to start with, um, this is the larger flat brush, uh, the half inch one that we're, I'm going to be using. And I'm just going to be starting, have say the center of the, the daisy right here. So if it helps you to kind of envision where the center of your daisy is going to go. Um, you can kind of draw a circle. This is going to be covered up, obviously, but um, might help you. So I'm going to use, I'm not going to use the, the wider side of the brush. I'm going to use the thinner side of the brush to start just kind of brushing out and I'm kind of pulling up at the end here, at the bottom, to give it that, so it's just quick strokes, um, going out in a fanned pattern, and we're going to layer this out, so again, just kind of flicking my hand. And it can go off 
the page there. Okay, so we're just gonna kind of, I'm gonna have it be a little bit bigger than that actually. Go around again till it fills up that top section. Okay. Just kind of let it be pretty. petals okay all right so there's our first daisy um, and we're gonna switch from this brush now to our larger of our two round brushes and we're going to have a fan so it might be helpful. Again, I need to know kind of where I'm heading. Um, so we want this one to come kind of up to, to here and it's gonna go there. So I'm gonna draw kind of a guide. This is the arch that I want my flower to, to do and you can bring it down here. But that kind of gives me where I'm going. So this is going to be the, the part of the flower that's attached to the to the stem. Um, so I'm just going to kind of start bringing these petals down. Okay, and you can bring it off the canvas. And this one is just from the side, so. So we're just gonna keep going here and it can overlap your other one. But we just have that arc going and I'm just gonna keep filling it in okay, with stripes. going till it's all full and as opaque as you want it if you want it to be um, kind of see-through it's fine too um, but there's our first one that's our first flower and then we're gonna have another one going in kind of the same direction down here so um, same thing, I'm going to draw kind of a curve, okay, and this one's going to be a little smaller, okay. And then we'll have one more here. Okay. And same thing. Just going to keep. a little kind of a bud 
down here. Okay, so there are our flowers. And now we're going to move on to um, some of the stems. So if you think about the stems, you're gonna have one, two, three, and then four coming out. Um, so we're going to start with, um, we're gonna use our thinnest, most narrow flat brush, and we're gonna start with just straight green paint, and then we're gonna highlight these. Um, so we're just gonna kinda think about the center of the stem, and they don't all, oh, this isn't gonna meet like in a, they're not all gonna come to the same point down the center, but they're gonna come like they're they're coming out of a vase or a plant. So they're, they're definitely related, but not meeting at the bottom here. Okay, so we're just gonna paint those stems. Um, and then this one can come, if you want it, it'll come down, can come down behind this other one, this other flower here. And we're gonna add way more detail to make these more visible, so don't worry. And again, these are natural um, things, so it's part of the fun of this painting is it's going to have uh, lots of little imperfections just like they, the flowers do in nature. So, um. All right, so we've got our stems ready to go. And I'm just gonna keep working on those. And what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna pause and make a little bit of a lime green color. Um, oh, you know what we forgot is we're gonna add the, the little bud um, so with this green before we go. So it's kind of a lumpy triangle, not exactly straight. And just on the fan ones, right underneath here. Okay, just those lumpy triangles. And again, we'll go back over it if you want to make it a little bit more um, darkened so you can see it. You can do that. This green's a little hard to see in the navy. So acrylic paint is good because once it dries it, it covers but you have to kind of let it let it dry so okay so now once we have that stuff done um, getting ahead of myself there <laughs> with the color mixing but um, so I'm gonna set this to the side for just briefly and we're gonna make um, kind of a lime green color. I'm actually gonna set this over here. Um, and we're gonna make our lime green color um, to add some highlights and things like that to this painting. Um, okay, so it's really just equal parts yellow and green. 
Okay, and we're just gonna mix that together. And then we're just gonna kind of brighten it up with some white. So, going to add that little dab of white. You really want this to contrast um, with your other colors so that you can um, just really have it highlight things and, and have it look really cool. So sometimes I, when I first started painting I was afraid to put a color this light with the rest of the colors in the palette and it just really makes it um, interesting and, and makes it pop really well. So uh, don't be afraid of color. Um, okay, so um, what we're going to do first before we add leaves and things like that is just add some highlights um, with this green the lime green to the stems. Um, so you can do that kind of coming down one side and just kind of making it, it makes it not only look more interesting, but it makes it look more three-dimensional. Um, so just, it's not a lot of paint on the brush, so just very little. And I'm just kind of bringing it down um, on each stem just to add a little bit more interest and uh, excitement to these these stems make them look a little bit more realistic and you can highlight some of these add some texture there and again if the the green underneath is still a little bit wet, that's okay, it blends together um, and it makes it really pretty. So just kind of blend that up there, highlight it. You don't want to just paint over it, but you do want to definitely highlight and make it look cool. So. Just all makes it look a little bit more realistic. And you can see how that lighter color really just makes a difference in the painting. So don't be afraid. I was. Okay. Just keep highlighting. All right, so we have those stems um, finished, and now we're going to go back to that um, just regular green and add some leaves into our stems. So these are just kind of, um, they come kind of in the same direction, and then they're just going to flip out. My brush is too wet here. Okay, just kind of. They're curly and okay, they're kind of all right. So we'll just add some leaves there and they can come multiple leaves out or kind of cross over. Okay, just don't be afraid to add those. Think 
about your flowers and how they leaves all don't just go in the same direction so make them look realistic and they cross over and just look natural so and then we'll highlight these with that green too so okay This one's got a floppy leaf. Okay, so when you are thinking about crossing them over, you kind of have to think about which leaves are going to go in front. Um, but other than that, it's just, so you just kind of have to think about it when you're highlighting what leaves need to go in front and what leaves don't. Okay, let's see. I think those are pretty good. I'm just gonna kind of darken them up a little. This green on the navy looks a little, just needs a little extra. where I'm heading just have it be full of just random stuff and you can kind of see where sometimes when you're in it and looking at it it gets a little crazy but then when you look up on your screen or step back from it it looks like a whole different painting so give yourself some time and excitement so I think we're good there um, so I'm gonna go ahead and highlight these with that lime color the same way I did so again just not using a whole lot but adding that the little bits of color can just really give them bring them to life pretty much okay just kind of brightening all that up highlighting it and then you can fix it like if you have any other highlights as things have dried you can highlight some more if you decide you want to do that just kind of keep working on your leaves here So I think, I think I might be pretty good with my highlighting here. And like where I'm heading. So 
Um, the last part of this painting um, is to work on that yellow center here for this this big daisy here. So um, I'm going to go back to my lighter or my larger the round brush that I was using to paint the petals and we're going to go back to that and we're going to use it with some different colors again different variations of colors um, I'm going to start with my yellow and just kind of start thinking about how wide I want it and again it's very pale at this point so we're going to just kind of get the idea and the background of where we want the center to be, okay? And I'm just going to start filling that in, quick dabs with the paint, okay? And we're going to get that filled in. And then I'm going to start bringing in some other colors and I'm not really going to change out my brush so I'm just going to kind of blend in some white um, and you can see it's going to just add some, I don't know, backbone if that's the right word to the, to the paint, to that yellow paint, just kind of make it a little bit brighter. Um, and exciting and then I'm gonna come in with just a little bit of brown around and again not much but I'm just gonna kind of start blending that in just to add some shadows and some low lights here and um, can go back over with some white just kind of layering that color in so that it gives it just a couple different layers of that and you can blend your brown and yellow and add some more interest. Okay. All right. And then you can pull in just the teeniest bit of black to add some interest there. Again, a little bit of black goes a long way, so you can go back over it. You just want to kind of shadow it in there. And maybe a little bit more white. Again. Ever think that the center of this daisy would be like that right that in depth um, so I'm gonna go back I'm gonna rinse my actually rinse my brush and start dropping on some more yellow just over the top here Just like that. And then the last thing is I'm going to bring in just a couple more dots of kind of that brown color. And we're good. All right. So 
Again, don't stress about everything being perfect on this one. It is a fully natural painting and you want everything to be, you know, interesting and exciting and, and uh, fun and the way you like it, but it's a natural piece um, and you want it to be kind of free, free form and, and great. So um, that is our uh, painting for today. And uh, thank you for painting um, Navy Daisies with me. Uh, appreciate it. If you are interested in painting more with me, again, my name is Abby and I'm with Creative at Home. I'm a mobile art studio. Uh, I have lots of different videos on YouTube and plenty of uh, kits and things available at my website, uh, creativeathomeart.com. And you can also find me on Facebook at uh, Creative at Home Art. Look forward to, to painting with you again, and uh, thank you for joining me today.